I've always been tempted at picking up Skyrim for the Switch because of its portability, but now the Steam Deck exists, so I can play Skyrim not just on the go, but also with mods. Hey everyone, Blake from Digital Cynics here, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can mod Skyrim on the Steam Deck the easy way. Let's get into it. Okay, so feel free to skip ahead to the tutorial portion of this video, but I really wanted to preface this by saying there are two real main ways at modding Skyrim. You have Nexus mods and you have the Steam Workshop. The Nexus mod route is going to have a much larger and frankly better selection of mods to choose from. However, it is a bit more involved and a little trickier to get set up with the Steam Deck. And then there's the easy way with Steam Workshop, which is what today's video is about. Now the Steam Workshop, while it's limited in terms of what types of mods you can get for Skyrim, it's still a pretty valuable resource for good content. If you wanna see a future video using Nexus mods with Skyrim on the Steam Deck, be sure to let us know by hitting that like button. But yeah, for now, let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial with Steam Workshop. So for the Steam Deck, you can access the Steam Workshop either through its gaming or desktop mode. In game mode, just go to the Skyrim page in your library, then go over to the game info tab. There you should be able to see a workshop tab. Go ahead and click on that and you'll be brought to the workshop mods. Here you can browse through the mods using some admittedly pretty basic filters, but if you find something that you like, go ahead and select that mod and then just click that green subscribe button. Now while accessing Steam Workshop this way does technically work, it's not the best method in my opinion. At least as of recording this video right now, it really limits you in terms of how you can search for things. I don't really see any specific search function if you wanna find a specific mod, and there's not a lot of really good ways to filter on what types of mods you're looking for. In my opinion, the best way to browse the Steam Workshop mods is through the Steam Deck's desktop mode. Here, you can simply click on Steam, access Skyrim in your library, and then go ahead and click on the Steam Workshop tab. You notice here, it's a lot easier to search through mods and you can even filter out your searches through genre type or even specifically search for a mod that you have in mind. And just like before, once you find the mod that you like, select it and go ahead and click that green subscribe button. Once Skyrim has been updated with the mods that you have subscribed to, you are ready to launch the game. Lastly, just to make sure that your Steam Workshop mods have been installed properly, just go ahead on the Skyrim launcher and click the Data Files tab. Here you'll see the mods that you've downloaded and you just wanna make sure that the ones that you want installed are checked. Then go ahead and hit OK and you're ready to play modded Skyrim. Now, is this the fleshed out modded Skyrim experience that you would get when using like Nexus mods or the Skyrim script extender? No, it's not. But this method does offer a really easy way to get a lot of high quality mods on your Steam Deck in just a matter of a few minutes. And especially for those who aren't familiar with modding in general, this is a great way to get started and yeah, dip your toes into it. Personally for me, the only mod that I really need every time I play Skyrim is the alternate start mod. And yeah, that's on the Steam Workshop. So I'm set there. I think this is a great route to go if you want an easy way to mod Skyrim. But yeah, with that being said, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. What are your thoughts on Skyrim on the Steam Deck? Have you gotten to try it yet for yourself? Have you had any experience modding Skyrim? What are some of your favorite mods for the game? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for watching the video and checking out the channel. I hope that this tutorial was helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them away in the comments down below. And yeah, for anything regarding tech games to yeah, anything nerdy in between like that, be sure to subscribe to Digital Cynics. Have a good one, everyone. We'll see you next time.